Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me again today. Today, we are going to be checking out The Hunt for Red October from 1990. And I know nothing about this one, except I feel like someone told me it's on a submarine. So I'm wearing a shirt with anchors on it. We know I love Sean Connery on the channel. I did Dr. No recently. I did Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. So I'm looking forward to getting into it and seeing what it's all about. If this is the kind of movie you want me to keep doing on the channel, make sure you give the video a like down below. If you guys have any interest in watching the full length along with me or voting in polls for what I watch, you can find all of that over on my Patreon. Well, let's get right into it. Here we go. The Hunt for Red October. A typhoon class Soviet subsurface just south of the Grand Banks then sank in deep water, apparently suffering a radiation problem. Unconfirmed reports indicate some of the crew were rescued. But according to repeated statements by both Soviet and American governments, nothing of what you're about to see ever happened. Ooh, it's fictitious then? Or that's what they want us to believe? North of Soviet sub-base. Sean Connery is Russian in this? Maybe? Oh. Guy from Jurassic Park, which I still want to see the sequels. I've only ever seen the first one. Maybe the second one. Oh. Epic music. Jeez, that thing's huge. I don't know anything about submarines either. The hunt for Red October. James Earl Jones, Vader himself. You're going to miss the plane. Cricket, you listen. Cricket. Stand me a little brother. Over. Will you promise? I promise. She's cute, but it's not about her. If you do try and get some sleep, the flight will go a lot faster. I can never sleep. Turbulence. Pardon? Solar radiation heats, warm air rises, cool air descends, turbulence. Is that why I literally did not know what turbulence was? I mean, I know that it makes the plane bumpy, but let's do it. CIA. You look like hell. The last time you got some sleep. I don't know. This thing's still on London time. So how's Caroline? She's fine. Sally. She's fine. Well, she's a very precocious five. Precocious five. Life would be less lonely if we were to buy our baby brother. So <laughs> buy one for Stanley. A Stanley's a bear. What are we talking about here? In October, the latest typhoon class. Captain's name is Ramius. Trained most of their attack boat skippers. The Russians call him Vilnius Nastavnik, schoolmaster. Hmm. What are these doors? Uh, I don't know what they are. With your permission, I'd like to show these photographs to someone. Clearance? Top secret or better. All right, so the Red October is a sub. It's a good sub name. I like it. Oof. Yeah, how loud would it be on a sub? Very loud, I think. LA class attack sub 100 miles. Polly Arnie Inlet. All of a sudden, they start hearing Pavarotti. Pavarotti. Jones here. <laughs> oh, look it. alive, boys. What do you got, Jones? Distant contact. Could be a missile boat out of Polly Arnie. Start your track, I'll be there in a minute. Alright, so we're tracking submarines, but I wonder how much this will come to a head, you know? Like, are we gonna end up submarines fighting each other here? He's very serious in this. You do cack that blagen, the Armageddon. And the voice cried it is done. A man with your responsibilities reading about the end of the world. The destroyer of worlds. Hindu text, quoted by an American. He invented the atomic bomb, accused of being a communist. Belonged to my wife. I'm sorry, Comrade Captain. Her death was mm. unfortunate. What happened to her? my job. It is my responsibility. How many agents did the KGB put aboard my boat? This vessel belongs to the people of the Soviet Union. They all check up on each other. Nobody trusts anybody. I suggest we open our orders, Captain. Love a good wall safe. Rendezvous with Alpha Submarine. Captain Tupolev's boat. He was your student. Rumored he has a special place in his heart for you. Run a series of drills. Tupolev will hunt us while we test our ship. We are to return to Polyani on or about the 16th. <gasps> Is he killing him? I did not see that coming. I am going, you cannot follow. What is he doing? Ooh, what's he up to? He's <gasps> burning the original. Holy moly! Alright, it's gonna end up being Sean Connery versus Alec Baldwin. Whew. Hey, what a vessel. Who are you in here? Playing with models now? Ah! ah. DSRV, rescue sub. A rescue sub. Let anybody sub can get it anywhere in the world in 24 hours. Whoa! 
bigger than a regular Typhoon. What are these doors? Now, those are too big to be torpedo tubes. Would you launch an ICBM horizontally? Sure. Intercontinental ballistic missile. This could be a caterpillar. It's a caterpillar. Oh. It's very, very quiet. It's doubtful our son not even pick it up. Like whales humping anything but a submarine. Stealthy. Interesting. They really built this. She put to sea this morning. Sean Connery's gone rogue. I helped my daddy build a bomb shelter because some fool parked a dozen warheads. This thing could park a couple of hundred. No one would know anything about it. Yikes. Ooh, dun dun. You're right, dun, just dun, just dun. Dive. Tea. I have chills. It was an accident. You'll feel better when we put in. Put in? We cannot go on without a political officer. We do not cancel operations. Come here. Cook's assistant, Logan, has witnessed this. I'm removing the missile key and I'm keeping it. This is most unnerving. Most unnerving. The reason for having two missile keys so that no one may make the decision. Arm the missile. Perhaps I should keep the key. Thank you, that'll be all. Oh, he's gonna do something. Oh. I will try to forget your comments. Thank you, sir. 12 knots at about 20,000 yards. So were these guys hearing a whale or were they hearing a stealthy Red October? I'd say we got a new boat, sir. Subland hasn't said anything about it. How many typhoons we got? Six, sir. Call this guy Typhoon 7. Only hears? Not if we stay in his baffles. Come in, in his behind baffles? his propeller and he's definitely... Huh? He's got both keys. He's definitely going to launch a missile. I like this serious Sean Connery. This is your captain. Play our dangerous game against our old adversary, American Navy. We have the advantage. They will tremble again at the sound of our silence. Engage Ooh. the silent drive. Oh. Engage Caterpillar and secure main engines. I will say I've I've heard to talk about the accents in this. They are all over the place. Our own fleet doesn't know our full potential. They will only test their own embarrassment. We will leave our fleet. We will pass through the American patrol and listen to their rock and roll while we conduct missile drills. The only Ooh. sound they will hear is our laughter. We sail into history. Alright, they're going to America. This is not good. Alright, now they're stealthy. Ooh. How are they gonna stop him? I have chills thinking about a submarine coming up near America without them knowing. Yikes. New course two five zero. Hmm. American Los Angeles class. Is the American turning to follow? No, okay. Captain. So they can't see them. They can't hear yeah, here. They can't hear them. All they will hear is the sound of their laughter. That's so evil. Check your gear. Running diagnostics now, Captain. The Russian disappeared, unfortunately. Mm. Thought I heard singing, sir. Dude, that's some good radar. Sonar. I do not know the words. Fred Fleet Political Directorate. Moscow. Yeah, yeah. Good morning, sir. Yeah, yeah. A little chilly this morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone's gone rogue. There's a letter there from Marco Ramius. From the Capitan. Oh, oh, geez. A nearly silent propulsion system. How did you know this? How did he know that? Following a radioed in read. Sortie their whole bloody fleet. Where are we going anyway? President's national security advisor. Who's given the briefing? You are. Get ready. I would not want to show up and be like, you're giving a presentation. Give them direct answers. Tell them what you think. Come on. Okay, well, at least he's not saying, like, gotta be cool and play it just right. He's just saying, like, tell the truth. Tell them what you know. The first to sail was the Red October in reference to the October. Ah. We believe that these doors enclose a unique propulsion system that would enable the sub to run virtually silent. It is possible that this it's new drive good. system allowed the captain, Ramius, to elude one of our attack boats. It is also possible that this drive could render the Red October undetectable to our SOSIS warning nets. That's so crazy. Is this possible? It is designed with multiple independent warheads with little or no warning. Oh my goodness. War. There were additional sailings. There are now some 58 nuclear submarines headed at high speed. This constitutes the bulk of the Soviet surface fleet. Suppose this is the beginning of a move against NATO. Well, that's what it would look like. Captain Ramius sent a letter to chairman of the yeah. Red Fleet. That's what was in it? Ramius' wife. Admiral oh. Doran immediately demanded a meeting with Soviet fleet sail find Red October and sink her. Oh, and sink her. 
Today is the 23rd, isn't it? What's well, yeah. the 23rd? He's cracked the code. Well, there's no code, but he's figured it out. You son of a bee. You wish to add something? Yeah. Tell him what you think. That's what he said. Perhaps there's another possibility. Ramius Just... might be trying to defect. Defect? Well, Ramius has trained most of their officer corps. I'm in a position to select men. He's not Russian. He's oh. Lithuanian by birth. He has no children. No ties to leave behind. No ties to the motherland. Today is the first anniversary of his wife's death. Oh. I know Ramius. I actually met him once. Have you ever met Captain Ramius? A negative. How long before Ramius could be in a position to fire? Four days. You have four days. I said, speak your mind, Jack, but Jesus. <laughs> yeah. You slammed the door on the general. My opinion, he deserved it. I'm a politician, which means I'm a cheat and a liar. Yeah, <laughs> straight shooter. It also means that I keep my options open. Let's assume that you're right. What do you suggest we do about it? Yeah, what's the plan? Maybe it's enough then just to get some people on board and inspect it. Russians get one whiff, the game is up. Yeah. Somebody's gotta go out there and make contact, find out what his intentions really are. It's gotta be him. When do you leave? Oh, I want a Sean Connery and Alec Baldwin together. I am not field personnel. You're perfect. They'd never stake their reputation where you are expensive. Mm. Something like that. I'll give you three days to prove your theory. After you that, three days. I'll down Ramis and destroy him. Ooh. All right. Mother of God. Mother of God. These orders are seven bloody hours old. Where do I know him from? Seven hours. Entire fleet is after him. I think that's the guy from Chernobyl. Engineer reports 105%, but not recommended. Oh, don't do it. Well, they're gonna do it. Do it. Go to 105 on the reactor. Yeah, I mean, we knew that was gonna happen. We're going to kill a friend. We're going to kill Ramius. He's gone rogue. Do you have the figures for the latest batch of radiation tests? Perhaps you could bring the proceeding set as well. Thank you, Doctor. Does not want the doctor in there. What is up? Take him some time. I'd like to know exactly what happened to Putin. He didn't sleep on his teeth. No, definitely not. Oh, God. Oh, stop whining, you. The man was a pig. It's a no. We should have all made. If the crew finds out, they could kill us all. It's right. We can still go back. You know. All we have to There'll say is no going back. back. No, oh, definitely you can't go back. You guys are all in big trouble. They announced our intention to defect. Yeah, that is weird. Why wouldn't he just do it? Why did he have to leave a letter? Adorin will send the entire fleet. Yeah. You couldn't Check. just turn the submarine over to the Americans. Or was it something deeper? We each have our reasons. My own began the day I was handed this ship. And as for the Don't rest, be I alone must carry the burden. You're afraid of our fleet. I, I would be. One chance in three. Not great. Not great. And more tea, anyway. Oh, I would love some tea. And you may report back to your post. Oh, we're done. You heard the captain dismissed. What does he think of all this? Do you know about the letter? I would never disagree with you in front of a man. Victor is right. Mm -hmm. I know the tactics. The worry is the Americans. We meet the right soul. This will work. Some buckaroo. Buckaroo. <laughs> Cut to our buckaroo here. You don't like flying, huh? We could have been That's with us five, six months ago. Turbulence. Yeah. Ew. Hey, you want to Ew. Bite? Uh, what a bite. Get out of here. Jack, next time you get the right idea, you just put it in a memo. USS Enterprise. East of Nova Scotia. Canada shout out. Tell me what all the hubbub's about. What's the hubbub? And I thought I heard some singing in the background, real faint. I caught it again, and I managed to get it on tape. And I was able to isolate this sound. Eerie. I ask, the computer, what I got was magma displacement. It's a software it was originally written to look for seismic events. I'm not following you, Jonesy. Yeah, lay it out for us, Jonesy. Let's hear it. Listen to it at ten times. Sounds like a machine. That's gotta be man-made. The first mm. contact was at 0915. It's those twins, it has to be. I'll bet that was actually some new Russian sub. This guy's for the got Coast it. Coast. $40 million computer. And you come up with this on your own. I've got all the relax, Jonas. Sir. Oh, okay, you told me. You believe them. Good. Well, maybe good. I don't know what I want to happen here. We'll never find them in those canyons. We'll take us to Periscope Death. I mean, they find them. It could be a confrontation, right? That's not good. I don't know how this can go. 
If I can get you close enough, can you track this sucker? Oh, Jonesy can, for sure. I find it extremely difficult to believe. What's his plan? Russians don't take a dump without a plan. Sail hmm. to New York and say, here I am. It might be just that simple. Right? Like, he's never going to get near the coast. But if they're stealthy, maybe he can. Ah. What are you going to do with the crew? Ones that don't defect are going to go back. Yeah, right. You plan to eliminate them. We're not at war. So the only way for this is to get them off the boat way that they think we don't have. How would you do that? This is very tricky. When's the last time you slept? A while. A she while? Passed. Take a nap. Things live will get a little dicey around here. Yes, sir. You think he's crazy? Certifiable. But they, they believe him. 72, a Marine. You're kidding. He went oh. down in a chopper accident and the pilot crew killed. You might consider oh, wow. cutting the kid a little slack. Russians gonna find that sub before we get near it anyway. Are they? I, they might. I don't know. Passing Thor's twins, sir. Depth, 270 meters. Four, three, one, mark. Blast off. Give me a stopwatch and a map, and I'll fly the Alps in a plane. Do you love a good map? Increase speed to 26 knots. That's super fast, Navigator isn't it? For 26 knots. One, mark. Maintain course and speed. He's always eating or drinking. Too fast. Too fast. So many knots and such and such a course. And this thing handles like a bee. Are they going to crash into something? Should we decrease speed? Negative. Why does he want to go fast? Doesn't he want to just make the turn successfully? Thirty-four Good minutes reflexes. to the Neptune Massif. They hit something? Too fast? Something broke? They hit something? The magnets are being cooled! If we don't shut it off, it's gonna melt! Shut it melt? Down. We'll run on normal propulsion. Captain, we will not be silent. Yeah, they won't be silent. Engage the propellers. He doesn't give an F. Why doesn't he care about this? Captain knows what he's doing. I don't know if he knows what he's doing. Well, he seems intentional, so I think he's got a death wish. Mr. Ambassador, you have nearly a hundred naval vessels. Now, shall we dispense with the bull? <laughs> Cut to the chase. Having your ships and our in such proximity, wars have begun that way. Right. They lost one of our submarines. <laughs> it's... Officers are sons of high party officials. You can tell him about the letter. A central committee member. This is a massive rescue operation. Terribly sorry. How can we help? Mm -hmm. They're both bullshitting each other. Perhaps a joint rescue mission? Mm hmm. But Calling his bluff. Is, I think we're doing everything that can be done. Please do not look into this any further. Bayer Foxtrot, Soviet anti submarine aircraft, South of Iceland. What I entry of small objects. So no boys. Battle stations. Battle, Battle stations. stations? How long to Neptune matter? It's about to go down. Four minutes, ten seconds. Prepare to launch a full spread. Launch countermeasures. What is happening? This is gonna escalate, I feel like, very quickly. Request permission to launch the weapon. They're not gonna drop that on them. No. Are they just gonna torpedo in the water? Torpedo! Torpedo is active! Launch countermeasures. Are they gonna get hit by a torpedo? How long to the top? Two minutes, nine seconds. We have no room to maneuver. It doesn't shut up. Then they're all screwed. Torpedo has reached countermeasures. Will it stop it? It didn't work. Is this going to hit Torpedo them? Torpedo has reacquired his homing. Zenith massive, 30 seconds. Torpedo impact, 35 seconds. Increase the flank. Full ahead flank. Torpedo impact now, 40 seconds. Is this going to hit them? That's crazy. 30 seconds. So what, they have to make a turn so that it goes into the canyon instead? Five. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Mark. Is this so gonna hit them? The turn. Not sure. Why not? Mark plus eight seconds. Captain, if we're out of position, torpedo impact now 15. Why is he waiting? Captain, we're out of the way. You're relieved. What is happening? Right full rudder. Reverse starboard engine. Uh. 12 seconds. Oh Six. my god. Oh, my hair is standing up. It didn't hit them. It didn't hit them. Oh, they might have taken some damage, though. Maybe it did hit them. Yeah, they're gonna be like, why is the rest of the fleet shooting at us? Uh-oh. I found out what happened. The buffer circuit has been torn out. It was only a matter of- Torn out. Before an overload shut down. Whoever did this knew how to cripple a caterpillar. Sabotage? Check, we have a sabotage. Saboteur, yeah, sabotage. <gasps> Who could it be? Must be a member of the crew. Maybe it's that guy from the beginning with it when he unzipped the guy and took his key. Maybe it's him. We don't have to figure out how to get the crew off the sub. He's already done that. All we have to do is figure out what he's going to do. Right. How is he going to get the crew off the sub? They'd have to want to get off. How do you get a crew to want to get off? Chased by their own military? 
I know how he's going to get the crew off the side of Admiral. Huh. Explain how. Yankee One. Yankee One's losing our bank pressure. What's Yankee One? New Jersey and her group are moving up while the Russians have a row of attack subs. There's something else. They're banging away as if they're looking for something. They're not trying to find him. They're trying to drive him. Hounds to the hunters. If somebody messes up, so we're going to be in the biggest naval battle since the Jutland. He's figured it out here. Excuse me, sir. What's the sub off by SS Dallas. Going to the bottom of Red Route oh 1. He's had an intermittent contact with a magma displacement. Well, is there a way you could get me on board the Dallas? I think the captain must found the Red October. The only way to get you is to fly you out. Chop. We're definitely going to wind up with him on the, the Dallas. Eject! Eject! What's this? What? They're not having great success with their problems today. If you have to ditch. You have to ditch. Okay. This water's temperature, you'll have about four minutes. To live? I feel like he's definitely going to have to ditch now that they just explained that. Jack, write a goddamn memo. Yeah, write a memo next time. You don't need to be right in in the sub. Just a strongly worded email. I've seen me a mermaid once, but I ain't never seen no <laughs> phantom Russian submarine. You're laughing now, but uh, just wait. Jonesy is about to prove them all wrong. Bingo. We're emerging from the root. Caterpillar is operational. Oh, great. Crew okay. know about the saboteur. Oh, that could be useful. He does have a plan, I think. I would like to know what it is. Do you think they will let me live in Montana? <laughs> They'll let you live wherever you want. We'll marry a round American woman. A round American woman. And I will have a pickup truck. <laughs> drive from state to state. Do they let you do that? Aww. No papers? No papers. Well, he's a man of simple pleasures. I hope he doesn't die now that he's said that cute plan. I think I will need two wives. <laughs> He's sweet. I hope he doesn't die. Console, not crazy, Ivan. What do you say? Russia turns suddenly to see if anyone's behind them. Crazy Ivan. Crazy Ivan. The only thing you can do is go dead. Catch is if we're too close, we'll drift right to the back of. Oh, okay. What about you? Yeah. Why does he want to go to America? Appetites. Yeah, let's see if he can hear us. Well, there must be something. A piece of fishing. Forty years. Let's see. A war. Let's see. No battles. Only casualties. I widowed her the day I married her. My wife died while I was at sea. Mm. This music is so tense. He's returning to base courts. Where did we get in the ELF? You're not gonna believe this. What? Oh yeah, the doctor's coming on board. Fuel status says we turn around now. You've got a reserve, don't you? I'm not allowed to invade that except in time of war. And it just might be what you'll have. Have you got me? We stay here ten more minutes. That's an order. All right. Let's hope this thing runs on fumes. I got a diver in the escape trunk in case this guy goes in the drink. He's definitely gonna go in the drink. This seems dangerous. Uh, he's gonna end up in the water. That would be so hard. Don't touch him! Don't touch him! Oh, no. No. He's in the drink. Oh, boy. Send out the diver! We are history. Yeah, peace. Good luck. How do you do, Captain? It's a pleasure <laughs> to be Hello. here. <laughs> he does not look pleased. Commanded by Captain Marco Ramius. He has suffered a kind of breakdown. You gonna tell him about the letter? He announced his intention to, to fire his missiles on the United States. <gasps> Dude, he's lying. Now you want us to help you hunt Shoot him Shoot him down. Yeah, precisely that. We already found him. We had to break off to come pick you up. Yeah, are they going to be able to find him again? The sub we're after is called the Red October. A man of a man named Ramius attempting to defect. Defect? He's very confident about this defection. With little to no evidence. Just a hunch. It seems the circumstances have changed somewhat. This potential renegade and threatens mm -hmm. war. Any necessary force prevents its summary from approaching the United States. Damn! Alec Baldwin, you must convince them. Battle stations are manned and ready. I have to talk to you. No, no. Full dive on Fairwater Plain. Passing 450 feet. 500. They're just diving that fast? Oh my god. I would not want to do that. On 200 feet. Very wide. Got him yet, Jonesy? Very faint, sir. All right, where he's supposed All right, Jonesy. Bring us up behind him quietly. Please listen to me. Two minutes, that's all. Very well, Mr. Ryan. See, I have a hunch, and I really think I'm right. Ramius intends to defect. The Russians are trying to sink it, but they haven't been able to. They right. invented this story because they need our help. I don't know. I really see it from this guy's point of view. I know this man. 
Has he made any crazy Ivans? He always goes to starboard in the bottom half of the hour. Huh. Warm up the weapons. Captain, there has to be some way. Warm up the weapons. Crazy Ivan. Captain. Which way is he turning, Jones? To the starboard, sir. Starboard. Just like he said. Doo -doo -doo. Give the man a chance. All back full. Now if that bastard so much as twitches, I'm gonna blow him. Can you identify the contact? So they know they're there. We're ready to shoot. Very well. So I open the torpedo tube door, sir. No. No. Open the door. As he opened his outer doors. Negative no. He's just sitting there. He's not going to provoke us. He wants to go up and take a peek. We'll play along. Well, like they're both going to pop out of the water and be like, yo, what's up? That's a sweet periscope. You wanted to talk to him, Mr. Ryan. U.S. told you intend a missile launch. Do not approach U.S. coast or you will be attacked. Will you discuss option? Can he acknowledge with a single ping? Question is, will he? One ping only. I don't know what a ping is. If... Defection plot course. Give me a map. Send him this. You out of your mind? Just send it. It's crazy, but it just might work. You know he was gonna go to starboard. I didn't. I had a 50-50 chance. Sorry. Oh, that's oh. All right, Mr. Ryan. My God. Is he gonna play ball? Re-verify our range to target. One ping only. One ping only, please. I kept. People have been saying one ping only in my live chat tonight. I was like, I don't know what that is, but now I get it. What a new course do you South. See the saboteur, the Grand Banks. Well, that's not what you want. Everybody out! Shut it down now. The controls don't respond. Then bypass it. Thank you. Ventilation circuits have been disabled. The core of the saboteur? <gasps> Radiation alarms activating in all compartments. Get us the periscope depth. We will ventilate with the outside air. What is the battery condition? <gasps> We've got to get them off. Is this his plan to get the crew off? <gasps> Simply changing the air won't do. We've got to get the men off. Well, well, we well. We've been sabotaged. I'm afraid the doctor is right. Very well. We'll evacuate the men to the deck. Service. We'll use them as shelters until the fleet arrives. That weather does not look good. must get the entire crew out. An evacuation proceeding. Closing fast. It's a warship. U.S. probably red. Oh, boy. October. Do not submerge or you will be fired apart. I think he means to board us. You will go with the crew. The officers and I will submerge beneath you and scuttle the ship. Seahawk 1, this is Bravo Command. Drop. Now. More torpedoes? Um... 600 yards. Uh, the torpedo is dead. Yeah. That torpedo did not self-destruct, and I was never here. Contact Dallas. So who's still left on the sub? Sean Connery? We're ready to launch. Hi, let's do it. We're off. 600 yards in closing. 200 yards. You can open the hatch. Hold it a second. Mr. Ryan? He's uh -oh. He's not going to change his mind. Are you willing to bet your life on that? Just in case. Could you hand me that hammer? Yeah. And knock knock. I don't. Sit down, sit down. Yeah, do they have a translator? Are we gonna be face to face here with the captain? Oh. Does he speak English? Just having a little smoke break. It's been a long day. Bakaru. <laughs> so funny. Does he speak Russian? It seems to think you're some cowboy. New pa Ruski. But he Sweet. hasn't met Stodum yet, Prativnik. Uh huh. It is. We met once at the consulate. What gives you the right to fire on my ship? Your signal said nothing. To maintain the illusion for your crew. My mm -hmm. crew are being rescued. As we speak. Now, how did you know our accident was false? But it seemed logical. He has a lot of lucky guesses. My officers and I request asylum. It's a pleasure, sir. The Americans are shooting. The torpedoes rush. Yeah, I think somebody just shot a torpedo. <laughs> I just write books for the CIA. Oh, whatever. I'll do exactly what I tell you. Captain, I think it's a Canavalov. A Canavalov? That is 
not sound good. That knob, turn right. Oh god, they have him just manning this thing? Go to battle stations. Battle stations! Stay right. That's had an end of torpedo. Ryan, don't turn that goddamn wheel. Three, He's gonna listen one. to that guy. Sorry. You're heading straight into that torpedo. Yes. He's turned right into the torpedo's path. Why? What's he trying to do? Kill himself? Can we shoot I... back? I can't attack without authorization. <laughs> torpedo impact. 20 seconds. Why? What books did you write? A fighting yeah. sailor. Naval combat tactics. Perfect. Oh, look, your conclusions were all wrong. 10 seconds. 8. What is he doing? They're gonna get Four. hit. They're gonna get Torpedo hit. Impact. Race for impact. Be did dead. they go around? The captain closed the distance before it could arm itself. Captain huh? Tupolov is removing the safety feature. He won't make the same mistake. Whoa! Change his mind, huh, Ryan? It's gotta be one of the crew. See the saboteur? Oh no! I knew he was gonna die. Crap! Man, I wanted him to marry a round American woman. I would like to have seen Montana. Very He's uncool. Into the missile bay. He can't launch a missile, but he can blow one up. Right. And take the car. Captain Wave. You may need this, sir. Thank you. Who is it? Who is it? Is he talking? What happens if he makes it to that ignition circuitry? He can incinerate the ship. Not good, not good, not good. Be careful. Right? Those things don't react too well to bullets. Yeah. Cool shot. I have to be careful what I shoot at. Yeah, right? This guy's just shooting all over the place. Come on. Some things in here don't react well. <laughs> Great <laughs> impression. <laughs> Stop shooting everything. Got him. We are too close. Launch the weapon. Torpedoes are on, Shoot it? now. Another torpedo, Captain. It went active. Oh, boy. Torpedo is an acquisition. Done it, Mr. Thompson. Put us on the roof. Four. Emergency blow. Emergency blow. Countermeasures. Come on, Big D. The torpedo's still active. It's searching for another target now. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Uh, goddamn cook! Oh no! Is he gonna? <gasps> don't do it! Don't do it! He's gonna do it! He's doing it! Blasted him! Okay. Thousand yards. That is done. We're turning straight at him. Torpedo's still on our tail. How do you lose a torpedo? Do they have any countermeasures? The hard part about playing chicken is knowing when to flinch. Full of crazy eyes. 350. Right full rudder. This one's gonna yep. be close. You've killed us. <laughs> Underwater explosion. That was cool. Very cool explosion. We have ascertained the Red October. It'll be some time before anything is recovered. This has been a terrible tragedy. If you come to us earlier, it might have been avoided. Mm -hmm. I appreciate your candor. Just gonna eat some jelly beans? Perhaps in the future the technology will more thorough investigation of the wreck. Mm -hmm. Perhaps. Because you guys actually kept the ship, didn't you? Sub. One of our submarines we've not heard from her for some time. You've lost another submarine. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't look good. North of Searsport, Maine. All this way, hide a submarine in a river. The last place that satellites will ever look. Smart. I grew up around here. My grandfather took me made fish it. off that island right over there. He just wanted There's to go fishing. There's one question you haven't asked me. Why? Yeah, I want to know. There are those who believe we should attack the United States. Red October was built for that. When the dust settled, we held a pay in Moscow. A little revolution now and then is a healthy thing. There's a river. Not unlike this one, where my grandfather taught me to fish. The sea will grant man new hope. At home. That's nice. Christopher Columbus. Welcome to the new world, sir. Feel like they're gonna be fishing buddies. He got a little friend for his daughter. Cute. 
Okay guys, well that was The Hunt for Red October. And that was a good one. That was a true like suspense movie for me. It was very suspenseful. I had no idea what was gonna happen in the end, who was gonna live or die. There's a couple more movies that feature the Jack Ryan character apparently. So if you guys wanna see more of the Jack Ryan character in those movies, let me know down below or like the video to let me know you wanna see those. But this one was really great. I really, really liked it. MVP, I am gonna give to Jack Ryan because if he hadn't guessed the motivation of the captain, Sean Connery, it would have all gone to hell. It was just basically his hunch that saved the day. So Jack Ryan, man with great hunches, I think, and we will make Jack Ryan our MVP. Loki MVP, we're just gonna give it to Sean Connery. He was a cool character, very interesting and kind of layered and reserved, I think, for himself as an actor. And yeah, I just like seeing Sean Connery in pretty much anything. So I will give Sean Connery my Loki MVP. And the worst award I'm gonna give to the saboteur because he shot that nice Russian officer and yeah he sucks so that guy will be the worst. Overall this one was really a good time to watch. I had a good time with the suspense in this one. I was kind of on the edge of my seat the whole time. I didn't know what was gonna happen for all I knew they were gonna friggin torpedo each other into oblivion so yeah this one was really really good. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I had a great time. I hope you had a great time too and I will see you next time. Bye guys.